Hey everybody, it's Raphael here with our next Fire Academy video. In this video we're going to be showing uh, fires and putting them out. It's a very early work in progress, but we've developed uh, to show right now we have two fire extinguishers. We have our can, which is the water extinguisher, and then we have you know, the traditional fire extinguisher, uh, CO2 foam type. Um, so we're going to show two different fires. We're going to show a, a typical rubbish fire um, we have some boxes set up in building number three over here and we also have a container containing an unknown chemical burning so we'll show when putting those out the different uh, things you might come across so here's our water extinguisher right here we are going to we don't have to do forcible entry on this on this room we'll be able to open the door since we've already shown that we don't want to have to go through the steps again you can watch our previous videos to get an idea of how that works um, so we'll go ahead and grab the extinguisher here we're gonna make our way into the building I can do a quick jog if I need to so all the animations are still a work in progress I'm gonna click over here and basically what that'll do is that'll spark the fire inside you'll be able to see it in a second so we'll go ahead and uh... we got our other fire extinguisher right here we'll go ahead and open the door and here's our rubbish fire we'll let them build up a little bit and there's our chemical fire on the right so we'll step out and let them build up for a little bit because the fires do um, procedurally get stronger and bigger so you can see the one over there is building up and then our chemical fire is getting pretty hot alright so that's, that looks pretty good you can see we have some smoke coming out of the room and a good amount of smoke in the room um, so it'll be sort of difficult to demonstrate since the fire is already at full power on the chemical fire but if I were to spray water into the, this water extinguisher into the chemical fire it would um... it wouldn't do much if anything it would actually make the fire worse so but this water extinguisher should be able to put out this rubbish fire uh... pretty easily so you'll see when I click the left mouse button you'll start to spray the water the particle effects that we have are still work in progress as well so everything here is mostly prototype to show you guys so here we go so I'm putting out a spray a little bit of water it puts out the main body of fire we still got some fire in there burning so we'll go ahead and uh, knock down the rest of that fire there you can see the steam from when we put water on the fire Oops. So this is our work in progress first person view. It's nothing. Uh, this was literally put in yesterday. So you can see that it's not much. Okay, so what just happened was that the chemical fire burned through all its fuel. I'll go ahead and show you guys that right now while we're here. Um, let me minimize all of this. So we have fire environments here we have our burnable cardboard uh, fire which was this one you can see it has a fuel mass, it has a vaporation rate, it has fuel mass, oxygen mass um, and then if we go if, if we go into the fire profile for a cardboard fire you can see the consumption ratio is six it has fuel, it has heat ratios it has vaporization rate per heat flash points, ignition points and we can also uh, when we make a new fire profile for an object we can add what kind of extinguishers can put it out or the reactants um, so I'll also show you here in the uh, in our scene view we also can set up <coughs> fire environments so building three fire environment we have it set up for this room right now we can make individual rooms and have passageways so we can set up this door or the window or this door or ventilation points on the roof that when we open them uh, it basically allows 
for heat to escape or heat to come in or oxygen to come in which is once we get this whole system fully set up it's going to be really impressive and it's going to be a lot of fun to show you guys um, but our developers still working on that um, but you can see here in the fire environment you know you have temperature you have smoke the amount of oxygen the volume of the room the room temperature um, you just have a bunch of options that I'm still learning personally how to mess around with but what I'm gonna do now is see if I can give the chemical burn more um, let's see probably more fuel and then I'll try and spark it up again I don't know if this will work but let's see There we go. So it's starting up again. Or trying to. Let me see here. Let me give it like a lot of stuff. And try and spark it up again. So it should. It should, in theory. Yeah, so it looks like it's building up. There we go. So while that builds up, we'll go out here and grab our fire extinguisher and drop the uh, water extinguisher. You can see the fire's uh, really picking up. I wonder if I shoot it with the water extinguisher. You see it doesn't do anything actually made the fire worse so we'll go ahead and grab the water extinguisher again or sorry the fire extinguisher let it burn for a second and then we'll put CO2 on it you can see it's dying down a little bit we'll finish putting it out we'll suffocate the fire so that's putting out a chemical fire and a rubbish fire. It took us a very long time to do because we had a ton of issues with animations um, and then also this fire system is really complex so we wanted to wait to show you guys that when it was um, you know ready to be shown but uh, once we have a really solid you know room that we can simulate fire behavior in we will do another video on that I think the next thing we're probably going to show is either going to be portable ladders or even fire hose mechanics. It's up to it's up to me really, but I got to figure out priority wise what I want to show. So if you guys want whatever you guys want to see next, go ahead and comment in the section below and I will take a look and see what has the most votes and that's what we'll focus our efforts on and show next. But uh, thanks for show or thanks sorry thanks for watching, and um, we're sorry that it took so long. Just an update on multiplayer for those of you who are really uh, confused and ups are, uh, frustrated. Basically, what happened was I had a multiplayer developer who was doing really well, and um, out of nowhere he sort of disappeared. But he got back to me and told me he was in Romania. He had to fly out uh, for urgent family matter. He actually just got back yesterday while I was looking for other developers to replace him. And unfortunately, it turns out his father died. Um, so it's been about a week, but I asked him if he needed time. He said, no, he's ready to, to start work again. So today we're picking back up on multiplayer. And um, I'm not going to give a date, but we should have something solid by Sunday, if not for release, for at least testing. But that's, then again, that's up to him, and as long as nothing else goes wrong, then we should be good to go. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next Fire Academy video. Be sure to tune into our development live streams that we hold whenever, probably once or twice a week. And I will see you next time.